Hey Gemini, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for April 2018 and Gemini, man, you still got your ruling planet in retrograde but we're not going to freak out because it's actually in the sign of Aries which is lighting up your 11th house so this is actually so helpful. This is helping you relook at things you think about society, your place in the society, women in your life, um, anything inv that involves women you'll certainly be reconsidering and your friendship zones as well as this includes networking social connections groups you go to for enjoyment that includes the gym anything like that and definitely I feel like this mercury retrograde for some of you was a beautiful chance to look at a reset to your long-range goals and plans because Gemini I'm sure life has thrown you a couple curveballs over this last year so it's time to definitely reset and think about who you're taking along with you now before we jump in and break this month down you guys asked for some summertime astrology study courses, so I have put them out. I have an AM and a PM study session. We're going to study in June. Click in the description box down below to join class, and I look forward to seeing you there, okay? All right, Gemini. So this month, kicking off right at the beginning of the month here, we've got both Mars, our action planet, and Saturn, our discipline planet, together in a conjunction, so sharing energy here in the sign of Capricorn. Now, Mars and Saturn together can be a little rough sometimes, but because they're in the sign of Capricorn who demands discipline, he's like, we're doing stuff. Get it to get, get your life, right? They're actually on pretty good behavior here. For you, this is in the eighth house. This is the house of intimacy, which means you see into me. So any place that you have joint resources, you could be taking action, making moves, um, feeling a new sense of purpose, a new sense of drive. And I'm telling you with Mercury in retrograde in the 11th house, you could be re-looking at making some kind of life change where you join society differently. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're partnering up. Maybe you're moving in with someone. Maybe um, you have decided to come out to the world and you're getting ready or at least ready to launch out to the world and become that tarot astrology um, reader, a speech therapist, an investigator, whatever it is. This could also be you taking action to move towards a goal that puts you out in the world differently. Now between the 4th and the 5th, and I give you both of those days because I think that they both play heavy into the square action that we're going to have for Mercury over here retrograde in the 11th house making a square to this Mars and Saturn conjunction. Now what this can bring about is it can be angry or heavy discussion. It can be a heavy conversation. Ultimately the essence of everything that will be coming here from the mental because you maybe re have to think, you have to to re have to rethink, you can tell it's Mercury retrograde right now, you might have to rethink how you're interacting with another entity. You may have to rethink how you're going about achieving a goal in some way. So this conversation is going to be about grow up. You're going to get the maturity conversation or maturity energy that comes up on these days. And it's going to probably be a lot more intimate than just a casual conversation of, yes, I would like to get a loan. It's if you get a loan, here's the interest. You understand all of these things. If you get married, if you get divorced, whatever you do, it's the weight of understanding what comes next and that you have a responsibility to show up to it. Now, what's great about this set of energy is that it does put you in a place of determination. Remember this in astrology, you guys. When you see a square, a square says, I want your attention now. So you're usually sparked into some kind of action. And this action is pushing you towards the goal. Your desire, your creativity, your sexuality, all of these things could be awakened in response to taking an action to kind of grow up here. Now on the 14th, we see Jupiter who's already retrograde over here in Scorpio in your sixth house coming into a sextile with Pluto. Remember when the planets have sex, that's good for us, right? A sextile means it's a pocket of opportunity and you will likely intelligently do something with it. That's what a sextile is about. So happening here in Capricorn in your eighth house, this is success coming to you and it's easy. You are not having to force it. You don't have to push. You're willing to be transformed and go with it. That's why I say all of this stuff that's happening at the beginning of the month, I think is just resetting you to a different tune to come out and to be out in the world in. 
On the 15th, we see Mercury coming um, out of retrograde and coming direct here in the sign of Aries in that 11th house, as well sharing energy with a new moon happening in Aries as well. So we're going to plant these new seeds of intention to start this friendship, social, long range goal area differently. Your associations may get different. This Mercury retrograde time has shown you maybe there's some friends that you don't feel intimately connected with. Maybe they were in your life for a very long time and now you've outgrown them and it's time to move on. Whatever it is, you could certainly see with the awakening of these energies, a shift in the friendship zones or the social zones as well. And keep in mind, this could be changes with women in general as well. On the 17th, Saturn is going to take a retrograde, and on the 22nd, Pluto is going to take a retrograde. Now, these are both happening in your 8th house, and with these two planets going to sleep for a little bit, first of all, who doesn't welcome the break from Saturn? Like, get off me for a minute, you know what I mean? What's going to happen, though, when both of them turn around is this is a rewarding fulfilling time to see what they have shown you saturn what did they show you about the new structures that you want to have in your life that you're willing and that you need to have in your life with pluto it has it shown you that it's okay to let go of those old hurts can you let go of that old girlfriend boyfriend love job whatever the old hurt that is dusty and sitting there and is no longer useful whatever it's about these energies over the next five months are going to ask you to be willing to let them go you cannot lift up and fly if you're bogged down with baggage and it's also going to put you in a position when these energies come back awake to see that you were okay to let it go because you're safe that's the thing. You'll know that you are safe. But it is an intimate energy happening this month. You're going to be doing some clean out. On the 19th, the sun moves into Taurus along with Venus, who's already over there. Now this lights up your 12th house. And this again, in between these two planets, falling asleep for five months, I feel like it gives you that spiritual space to say it's okay to clean out. It's okay to bring harmony to the shadow sector of yourself, the things that are hidden, the fears, bring closure, your safe. It also, I think for some of you will really um, electrify and light up some creativity, which you could be pushing forward out into the world for sure. On the 24th, Venus makes a move into your sign. You are lit up. You're getting ready for birthday time. Not too long from now, you could find yourself being more magnetic. You could also find yourself having um, people attracted to you or you're talking to them. You're being social and they're just eating you up like honey. You know what I mean? Venus definitely brings a sense of harmony and ups the value as well because maybe the changes that you've experienced in the month have also changed your value, right? How you you present your value maybe you went from being single and now you're married you're ahead of a household that has certainly changed the position and role you'll play maybe you're the head of the company now something like that it will certainly change the role that you play and bring it up a little bit on the 29th we've got the full moon happening at six degrees of scorpio happening over here in your sixth house beautiful connection very positive with um, a sun saturn trine that's also happening so this is great to get things done look deep and to clean out this is just phenomenal energy here so at work if you've got to have new social connections in your health in your mental health if in your daily routine it's time to restructure something this is a wonderful energy because it will put an end to the old thing and give rise and space for the development of something new so really a beautiful month i think ahead of us um be patient with yourself your ruling planet has been asleep for a while and is really not solidly out of shadow time until may 3rd but i think we start to get some relief right here 15th 16th of this month all right gemini like this video comment share subscribe i hope to see you studying with me this summer in class click in the description box down below and definitely i'd love to see it in three dollar thursdays whatever you're doing out there just know that i love you though okay Bye.